going on guys? Zinger here, 90 mile per hour club. I'm here to share with you guys today a few feeling tips. Um, today I'm getting ready to go play in a game and I have a few options here as far as the kind of water that I like to bring with me uh, for hydrating and also for, once again, fuel. Um, I know I get a lot of comments and questions from guys about drinking just water. Uh, for instance, when they stop drinking soda or fruit juices or processed fruit juices. Um, so here's a few ideas for what you can do. First of all, this is my favorite one, so I'll show you that one first. Uh, and I let it brew overnight, or even sometimes for a couple days. Uh, these are goji berries. So what I do is I take a couple handfuls of the goji. Okay, here it is right here. As you can see, they're dehydrated or dried, usually sun-dried, um, unless you're growing them in your backyard. Okay, and then what I like to do is take some Himalayan pink crystal salt here, put a little bit in my hand here, a couple turns, and then I'll add that, and then I'll add my water, okay? Once again, let that soak overnight or for a couple days, you have some excellent fuel right here, okay? Now, when you're drinking it, you also want to eat the berries, okay? So, give it a shake, give it a whirl, goji water, okay? Next, we have the honey water, okay? Uh, excellent fuel source here as well. Do the same thing with the sea salt. Okay, and then we're gonna stir it. We're just gonna keep going. Ideally, we have raw honey and raw organic honey. There's a lot of different places you can get it from, uh, best spots. It'll be your local farmer market, farmers markets, and you can see uh, find the local honey. Okay, our last option here today is chia water. Okay, the chia seeds, excellent fuel source. Again, you can see I kind of stirred up. Looks kind of neat here. Uh, same thing. We're gonna add a good pinch of sea salt here. A little more than a pinch, but add the sea salt. And now we're going to do a similar thing with that we do with the goji. We're going to let it sit for a while, but you know I, you can leave this sit for 20 minutes and it'll be good to go. Um, you can also let it soak overnight. Um, hope this helps you guys out. Once again, a few, diff a few different fuel sources here, uh, so we can optimally perform on the baseball field and live a life of longevity. So have a great day, guys. Talk to you later.